fuck do you guys want? I already have an empty subscription. And I answer all your questions on my thread. I'm just kidding, come on. Hey. <laughs> weeks out from the Arnold and I uh, figured maybe we do a little bit of pre-contest uh, food preparation I get a lot of questions in my thread about nutrition and food prep and um, got a lot of positive feedbacks on those videos in the past where I've showed that so I figure I'd give you guys a glimpse on you know what I do every four or five days or so to prep for my meals in advance and uh, come check it out got 10 pounds of fish, 10 pounds of chicken, I got a couple turkeys, um, some fruits, vegetables. Um, that's really, uh, those are my staples. Um, doing other things outside of that, some rice and potatoes, but this is all the stuff that I prep in advance. Uh, it's really simple, I'm just gonna show you how I go about doing it. I know there's a lot of guys that, you know, they'll prep food one day at a time, you know, uh, Everything for that day, they'll prep that morning. I found that if, if I do that, I just forget it. You know, you'll be spending hours each day. And uh, it's, I found it's much more efficient to just take, you know, a few hours, you know, maybe twice a week and just prep, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Out of the, you know, 10 pounds of fish I have, the 10 pounds of chicken, you know, all this stuff here, um, on average, I get about um, 70, 80 grams of protein a meal. Um, for six meals a day for four to five days. Um, the only thing that I prep the day of, I'll just boil some potatoes in the morning and prep some rice, take that with me, but everything else is made and it makes stuff a lot, it makes it a lot easier for me. It ensures that, um, you know, I always have my meals on me. I'm never at a loss for food or having to wonder, I want to have to stop at this place and, you know, have to settle for something that's less than exactly what I need. So this is the way that I found to be the best. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is throw some fish in the oven. All I do is just take a regular sheet pan, give it a coat of some cooking spray. And then take the pieces of fish and just lay them out in the pan. What kind of fish is that? This is fluke. This actually, um, it came into the fish market yesterday. He filleted it, he cut all the fish for me. And actually I was so pressed for time yesterday that he actually delivered it to my house, which was a pretty nice of him. But technically, you know, as of yesterday, this was actually sushi grade fish. Mm -hmm. and that's how fresh the stuff is. Then once I lay it out, Take a little bit of Old Bay. Sprinkle it on. So I just, you know, after I throw the Old Bay on it, just pop it in the oven. I set the broiler in the oven. I let it heat up. about 10 to 12 minutes, it's ready, and I just keep rotating the cheat pans. I found uh, fluke, sole, flounder to be really good fish uh, for, my, for my needs because A, most of it's wild. I don't, I don't think there is any farm-raised uh, flounder, sole, fluke, all pretty much the same fish, the flat fish. So most of it's wild. Um, it's just a plain white, you know, low fat fish, which when I'm eating a lot of it, you know, a few times a day, I'm able to put more of it down. So it's, it's not like I'm eating, you know, uh, uh, 12 ounces of, of salmon or swordfish, something that has, you know, such a high fat content that kind of, I'm not going to be able to eat as much of it. And also 
with, with fish like this, they're mainly bottom feeders. You don't have to worry as much about all the mercury with, as you do with the, with the larger fish, like uh, you know, salmon, swordfish. A lot of the larger fish, because they prey on all the small fish, they're, they, they accumulate a lot more mercury than you know, fish that are just bottom feeders or feed on vegetation or you know, other maybe real tiny fish. You don't get that same mercury buildup. So while the fish is in the oven, then I just get a tray of chicken ready so that as soon as that's done, I can pop them in. I just keep them rotating. So same thing, I just take a sheet pan, hit it with some nonstick spray. Lay the chicken out. Usually I can get about eight pieces or so. This is chicken I just butterflied this morning. Sometimes. Is, this, is this organic chicken, Evan, or what can, what you no, get chicken from? No, it's um, it's just Bell and Evans chicken, which I found the texture to be really good. Um, Trader Joe's sells like an organic, free-range chicken, but it's tough. It's tough as hell. I just don't like it. <laughs> and it's expensive. This stuff's not as expensive, and I find the texture and the taste to be to be really good. Same thing that I just, you know. Put a little bit of salt and some everyday seasoning. No, really, see, everyday seasoning. <laughs> Grind it on, and it's just, you know, it's ready to go. As soon as that fish is done, I just pop it in. Very good. All right, so while that fish is cooking too, I'm gonna prep some vegetables. I know, I know a lot of bodybuilders aren't too keen on vegetables, but I do think they are important. I think they, you know, help you digest your protein, I think. Help keep you regular. Plus, you know, all the, the phytonutrients that vegetables have, I think, you know, help keep you healthy. There is life after bodybuilding. I know eight time Mr. O, Ronnie Coleman wasn't too big on vegetables, but I don't know. I think for just general health and well-being, I think they're important. So eat your vegetables. What I got here, I just got some green and yellow squash. Just chop it up, quarter it up. I'll throw it in the pan with some water, steam it. Just nice and simple. It keeps pretty good in the refrigerator. Helps a chicken go down. Personally, I don't know how these guys did it. Just eating, you know, chicken and potatoes, chicken and rice, because that shit gets dry. I, I can't even, I really can't eat a meal without vegetables. It just helps it kind of go down. And I feel, I feel a lot better when I have vegetables in my diet. I think sometimes, you know, you go so long without you know, eating vegetable, vegetables, and at least me, I'm like, man, I, just, I need like a salad or something. But that's just me. You know, growing up, we always had to have vegetables with dinner every night. And of course, you know, I hated it and I gagged on them. But as I got older, I started to like them more. And I found like at times when like I'm on the road or I'm traveling and maybe my diet, you know, it is in the past because now like I bring everything with me. But in the past when I was traveling and just not, you know, eating as, as well-rounded of a diet, I would just, you just feel like shitty. You know, you just feel like almost just kind of like toxic, kind of bogged down. And I think, you know, drinking a lot of water, having a good amount of vegetables in your diet, I think it just keeps you, it just keeps your body feeling better. I get a lot of questions on the forum about, you know, how do you go from an off-season diet to a pre-contest diet, or how do you arrive at, you know, a proper pre-contest diet, you know, how do you figure, well, should I have this amount of protein, this amount of carbs, or do I have carbs, do I have fats, you know, do I do this, do I do that? 
and really, you know, this time around, um, all I did was I based it entirely on my off-season diet. I mean, I, I kept a really good, clean off-season diet. I knew, okay, if I'm maintaining, you know, 290 pounds, eating uh, five meals a day, and each meal consists of this, this, and this, then it's, you know, it makes perfect sense that if I'm going to begin, you know, a, a pre-contest diet, but, you know, I don't want to lose a ton of weight, I don't want to go, you know, nuts right off the rip, that I'm going to, you know, adjust things in incrementally. Really, all I did, I actually added a meal, doing six meals a day. I dropped a little bit of carbs from my uh, breakfast meal. So instead of, um, you know, I was having things like cream or rice with breakfast, really I just have now uh, either turkey or steak with some eggs. And uh, usually I have a grapefruit with it. And that's it. But, you know, my rest, the rest of my meals of the day, chicken with some vegetables, with some potatoes, had that for a couple meals. Um, the other meals, fish and rice for two for two meals, and then dinner, typically either steak or turkey, and uh, a salad. But I, uh, one of the main things I did was, you know, off season. If if I feel like I want some crap, you know, it's it's you know those five base meals were were always in there. But if I want some of this or some of that, I have it. Now, obviously, being pre contest, I eliminated that. I know that I knew that just 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 if I'm maintaining at 290, but I'm a, you know then I, I I I clean up the diet and I eliminate any extra crap I'm going to have. Already I, I've created a, a calorie deficit. That and I bumped up my cardio from uh, half an hour three times a week to a half hour. Um, I say every day, but then there's some days where I know I just I don't need it. So on average it's been about five days a week. So oh and also I added a training day. So. I didn't really cut my calories. If anything, I may have actually, well, no, I, there probably is a slight caloric deficit, but with all the, the added activity between another day of training and two more days of cardio, I've, I've definitely increased my uh, calorie expenditure. Even some days I've had to eat a little bit of crap because I feel that I'm losing weight a little bit too quick. And I'd rather eat more and do more cardio, have more activity rather than eat less and uh, you know do less cardio or train less. Um, in the past, it was always kind of my, the way of thinking would be, all right, well, why, why do cardio? Why don't I just, you know, tighten up my diet? But it makes much more sense to eat more, have higher activity, do more cardio, train more, because then your metabolism, you know, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're hitting it from two different angles. It's going to be increased from the increased food. And then also it'll be elevated from the increased activity. So I think that makes, makes a lot more sense.